Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Tuesday morning. Again, this is a very special day. This is All Saints Day. And this is the day that we remember all those who have died over this past year. And we rejoice for their their memory and for uh, our, their paths to have crossed ours. So today, let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give glory to God, our light, and our life. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O oh, come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God our light and our life. O oh, come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 146. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, O oh my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have my being. Put not tr your trust in rulers, nor in any child of the earth, for there is no help in them. When they breathe their last, they return to earth, and in that day their thoughts perish. Happy are they who have the God of Jacob for their help, whose hope is in the Lord their God, who made heaven and earth, the seas, and all that is in them, who keeps his promises forever who gives justice to those who are oppressed and food to those who hunger. The Lord sets the prisoner free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord cares for the stranger. He sustains the orphan and the widow, but frustrates the way of the wicked. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, throughout all generations. Hallelujah. Let us pray. God of glory and power, happy indeed are those who have put their trust in you. Shine the brightness of your light upon uh, upon us, that we may love you always with a pure heart and praise you forever through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Well, on this very special day, our first reading today comes from the Book of Wisdom, from the Apocrypha, and, and the fifth chapter. Then the righteousness of man will stand with great confidence in the presence of those who have afflicted him and those who make light of his labors. When they see him, they will be shaken with dreadful fear, and they will be amazed at the unexpected salvation. They will speak to one another in repentance and in anguish of spirit. They will groan and say, This is the man whom we once held in derision and made a byword of reproach. We fools. We thought that his life was madness and that his end was without honor. Why has he been numbered among the sons of God? And why is his lot among the saints? Because the hope of the ungodly man is like shaft carried by the wind and like a light hoarfrost driven away by the storm. It is dispersed like smoke before the wind and it passes like the remembrance of a, of a, gust, of a guest who stays but a day. But the righteousness uh, lives a life, but the righteousness live forever and their reward is with the Lord. The Most High takes care of them. Therefore, they will receive a glorious crown and a beautiful diadem from the hand of the Lord, because with his right hand, he will cover them, and with his arm, he will shield them. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be to God. Lord. Our second reading comes from Hebrews, the 11th uh, chapter. And what more shall I say? For thine would fail... Uh, me to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Japheth, and or of David and Samuel and the prophets, who with faith conquered kingdoms, enforced justice, received promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched raging fires, escaped the edge of the sword, won strength out of weakness, become, uh, became mighty in war, put foreign armies to flight. Women received their dead by resurrection. Some were tortured, refusing to accept release that they might rise again to a better life. Others suffered mocking and scourging and even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned. They were sawn in two. They were killed with a sword. They went about in skins of sheep and goats, 
destitute, destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering over deserts and mountains and in dens and caves on the earth. And all those, though well attested by their faith, did not receive what was promised since God had foreseen something better for that, for us, that apart from us they should not be made perfect. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, looking to Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy that was set before, uh, before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is seated at the right hand of the throne of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thank be to God. Our uh, last, our Holy Gospel, our reading, actually the third reading, comes from Revelation, the 21st chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is with men. He will dwell with them and they shall be his people and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning nor crying nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And I saw a new temple in the city for the, its temple is the Lord God, the almighty and the lamb. And the city had no need of sun or moon to shine upon it for the glory of God is its light and its lamp is the lamb. By, by its light shall the nations walk, and the kings of the earth shall bring their glory unto it, and its gates shall never be shut by day, and there shall be no night there. They shall bring into it the glory and the honor of the nations. But nothing unclean shall enter it, nor shall anyone who practices abominations or falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. Then he showed me the river of the water of life, bright as crystal, flowing from the throne of God and the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. Also on either side of the river, the tree of life, with its twelve kinds of fruit, yielding its fruit each month. And the leaves of the tree were from the uh, healing of the nations. There shall, be no more, uh, there shall no more be anything accursed, but the throne of God and the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall worship him. They shall see his face and his name shall be on their forehead and night shall be no more. They need no light or lamp or sun for the Lord God will be their light and they shall reign forever and ever. The gospel of our Lord. Praise to Praise you, you, O Christ. Christ. Well, it's just the word of the Lord. It's not the gospel. It's the word of the Lord. What a beautiful reading though that is. Um, in many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. <clears throat> but now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his Son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. O Almighty God, who hast knit together thine elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of thy Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, grant us grace so to follow thy blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those ineffable joys which thou hast prepared for those who who unfeigningly love thee through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Spirit liveth and reigneth one God in glory everlasting. Amen. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. 
Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I as we begin our day on this very special day, All Saints Day. And remember those who have gone before us in your hearts and in your minds as we rejoice in their faith and who have brought us to this point in our faith. Hope to see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.